The Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications says one of the major challenges confronting telecommunication companies is the theft of their equipment at cell sites. Passive equipment such as batteries, fuels, air conditioners, copper cables, among others, are usually stolen. In recent times, thefts associated with active cables like Ericsson boards and Huawei boards, among others, have been recorded in various areas. On May 4th, 2022, a theft of some active equipment was recorded at Kusugu in the northern region and another incident occurred on Monday 9th, May 2022 in Tamale. The Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications explains that these cases of thefts of active equipment are occurring in many parts of the country, with 43.5% of the cases recorded in the Ashanti region. The Chief Executive Officer for the Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications, Kenneth Kweku Ashigbe, laments that these activities lead to interruptions in the operations of telcos. It's something that is really worrying. So the first data I'm sh sharing with you, in the past, has been fuel. They will steal fuel. They will steal batteries. They will steal copper cables. Uh, they will steal the earth rods because it's all made of copper. So this one, you know, we call them passive equipment. But now, we're beginning to experience active equipment. For just the active equipment, since August 2020, data from the three networks, we have had 115. So all of these issues, as I said, they have national security implications. You know, can you imagine that, you know, a network goes down and at a particular place, you know, vehicles are driving and at that particular point, they cannot make a call. The armed robbers will have a field day. And as I said, it's not, you know, national, or, you know, the government and all of that. They use these networks for their communication. And what will the implication of them when these things are happening and then these uh, sites are going down? And then in the, in the case of an emergency, somebody has to make a call. You know, somebody has to call one, uh, you know, any of fire service would have to call the ambulance service. But because you have gone to take any of these equipment, the site is down. And because the site is down, he cannot make a call. That is death. The Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications fast was the general public to volunteer information that could help the police and other security agencies to apprehend persons involved in the stealing of equipment. So with all of this thing and with all the challenges that are facing us, what we are saying to all of you Ghanaians today is that enough is enough. We cannot continue to allow this nation records to continue doing what they are doing. The impact on us is very severe. We're collaborating with all these security agencies. We're collaborating with the intelligence agencies. And what we are saying is that now for anybody, any citizen, any whistleblower, who would uh, bring out information and intelligence that would lead to the arrest of any of these nation records. We are promising you a very, very handsome reward. Another thing, we'll go a step further. If based on the whistle you blow, we are able to successfully prosecute and get jail sentences, we would add up to that. So that is a commitment that we are making to all Ghanaians. We know that it is all of us, it is our civic duty to ensure that when crime is happening, we all support the police, the intelligence officers to do this. For students, I am Fatih Amin Ibrahim Kumase.